Ladies and gentlemen, how about that for a birthday present, eh? Cristiano Ronaldo with his 807th goal, his second career hat-trick for Manchester United. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Three incredible goals, all for different reasons. But we're witnessing greatness here, people. We're witnessing greatness. Manchester United, they're 3-2 winners against Spurs. And I will get into it, and we will talk about the overall team performance, X, Y, Z. But wow. Cristiano Ronaldo with such a magnificent hat-trick after, you know, a, a time when there's continued question marks from a lot of people. Is he past it? Is he really just seeing out his days as, as a football player at Manchester United? Is he fuck? Wow. That first goal there was vintage, vintage Cristiano Ronaldo. Incredible. Put his foot through it. Woof. What a finish. United being typical United, we didn't we 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 didn't push for that second enough. We, we sat too deep. We invited Spurs onto us. The pressure was coming and the penalty was there. It was a handball. Question marks whether we should have had one for the dire situation, but it's completely irrelevant. Come out in the second half, who comes up again? Actually, no, that was before half time. It was 2-1 at half time, wasn't it? Um, Sancho, wonderful ball over the top. Sancho, wonderful pass to who? Cristiano Ronaldo in the middle, right place, right time. Proper number nine finish, that one. Then Spurs equalized again when United, ah, that, what a ridiculous own goal from Harry Maguire. I think he was put into a bad situation by his teammates, but at the same time, it's just another black mark on, on Harry Maguire's season, which is just getting worse, I suppose. But then who comes up with the goods at the end to complete only a second Manchester United hat-trick, but what a hat-trick, what a towering header, what a header that was, Wow. 37 years old, people. 37. 807 goals now he has scored. I think he's the highest ever goal scorer according to FIFA statistics from club and international level. And what a way to go into that game against Atletico Madrid. We needed some momentum after what was another truly humiliating defeat uh, at the hands of our rivals, the 4-1 defeat to City last week. And that there keeps what I would say is, is a dim light. The top four chances, Manchester United, it's, it's a dim light. It's not completely faded. It's not blown out. It's faded. That man there has kept it alive. Suppose like he did in the Champions League group stages against Villarreal, against Atalanta. He's done it there today for us in the Premier League. Don't write Ronaldo off, people. I know you want to. You're wasting your goddamn time. This is Cristiano Ronaldo. It's quite literally the greatest goal scorer there will ever be. And he's still a great goal scorer and he came up with the goods there today when Manchester United needed him the most we needed someone to lead by example today wasn't a game like uh, like Burnley or Southampton or, or Middlesbrough or Watford it wasn't a game where United dominated created chance after chance after chance but we were clinical today we could have had more yeah cool uh, of course but we were clinical with the chances and that man there was so clinical so ferociously confident in his own ability to find the back of the net. And today, <laughs> he found it three times. As I said, it's my birthday tomorrow. Wish me a happy birthday and drop a like on the video, people. Come on. But Ronaldo there coming up with the goods when we needed him to the most. What a player. What a man. If we're looking at the overall team performance, there's holes I can pick in it. Of course, there's holes you can pick in it as well. Manchester United going 1-0 up. We didn't go for the second. We sat deep. We tried to play a game of containment. This team can't contain teams. Spurs scored four in the last two games. You really think you're going to keep them out? No, you're not. It was a penalty. All right. Tellez had his arm in an unnatural position. You can argue uh, if you really want about whether we should have had one. I think it was probably more of a penalty than the dire situation. But that's just a debate for a different day. Kane, ridiculous penalty taker. One all. Who comes up with the goods again? Oh, Sancho, by the way, today, Sancho, people. How good is it watching Jaden Sancho at the moment, right? Real, just a, a master, really. I mean, master's master the wrong word, but it's masterful watching him. He's just, he's an artist. It's like when you watch him play, it's, it feels like a joy to watch him play. Compare him to Marcus Rashford right now, two players at very different points in their game when it comes to confidence. He was fantastic. I'll tell you who else was fantastic as well. Fred. What did Fred get? Fred got a 7.6 down here. Uh, just below Sancho. Yeah, well, they, they, got their, they got their rating spot on, actually. I would say the best three players in that game were Cristiano Ronaldo. Of course, coming up the straight 10 down there at the bottom. Let me scroll up so you can see that. 
Ronaldo there with a 10. Sancho with a 7.9. And Fred with a 7.6. I think that's fair. Fred was fantastic today in that midfield. And I mean fantastic. Right decisions. Right aggression where it was needed. Right pressing when it was needed. Right decision to drop deep when it was needed. Just correct decisions. I would say the whole game from Fred. And it was a game that we didn't have Bruno Fernandes, right? And then we, there was question marks about what was going to go on. I tell you what. We did. We dropped off too much, but I enjoyed Pop. Like Pop was crucial for that third goal, right? Crucial. Uh, I would say Pop had played well. Didn't play incredibly, but we had. It felt like we, I don't know. We didn't have too much control. And I'll be honest. If we were looking at the problems there, it probably came inside that space there, in, inside the midfield. We just. We. If, I'm not sure if you saw it. I saw it certainly during the game. Ronaldo was trying to like. Get everybody to bring up their line. There was like, he was like, you're, you're sitting too deep. Stop inviting the pressure on. Play higher. Play higher. That shouldn't be Ronaldo doing that. That should be Harry Maguire as a captain telling everybody to bring that defensive line up. That's Maguire's job, not yours, Ronaldo. Your job is scoring goals, which he did very well. Maguire there today. Look, I'm not going to slam him too hard for the own goal. Uh, I think he kind of had to put his leg in there. He didn't know that Romero was offside. And I'll be honest, I don't think he should have been put in that position. It's poor defending to let the ball go out there. But it's just another Maguire fuck-up. It's just another black mark. And I think Ralph Randick has made a lot of good decisions as Manchester United manager. But backing Harry Maguire has not been one of them. I think he's made a mistake in continuing to back Harry Maguire. I think Victor Lindelof deserves to be starting in that team ahead of him. And he should be starting in that team ahead of him against Atletico Madrid. But Cristiano Ronaldo, I, I, I said I thought he was going to be rested. I, I thought there's no way that Ronaldo's going to play 90 minutes here against um, Spurs and then be able to do the same thing against Atletico Madrid on Tuesday. Well, it shows why I'm not a football manager, right? Jesus. Three goals from him today there, and he is going to be going into that game against Atletico Madrid with a fucking hard on to do the same thing against Simeone and knock them out of the Champions League. I tell you what. It's teed up nicely, isn't it? It really is teed up nicely. It's going to be a hell of a game at Old Trafford on Tuesday night under the floodlights in the Champions League in the round of 16 with Ronaldo back at the club. But today is all about Ronaldo. It is all about Ronaldo. As I said, you can, you can speak about the individual performances, the fact that we didn't take that control and, and, and there were problems. Of course, there were problems in that game. It was a 3-2 that required a late winner from Cristiano Ronaldo. It wasn't a game that United totally controlled, but it was a game where we had a certain player who came and made all the difference. It was a game where I wanted more control from United. It, it wasn't decisive enough in certain points. We invited the pressure from Spurs. We invited the goals from Spurs. And the goals came from Spurs. So it wasn't a surprise to see them score either of those goals. But just the fact that we came up with the goods there. We came up with the three points. And that keeps the top four chase alive. Let me go over here. Let me go on the Premier League website. And let me see what the table's looking like now because we needed to win that to keep any chance of us getting into the top four this year. Let's have a look at this table. Let's go over here. So the table now is this. Manchester United, they're sitting fourth. We are now, what is it? We are five points ahead of Spurs with two games in hand. Well, they've got two games in hand on us, but we're two points ahead of Arsenal who have got four games in hand on it. It's all up to Arsenal. If Arsenal wants to win their games, they're in the top four. But today... Winning that game today, that man coming up with the goods today, those three points, vital. They're keeping the season going in the Premier League, but it, the season, it's all about Tuesday night. And what a time for Ronaldo to get only his second career Manchester United hat-trick. First was all those years ago against Newcastle. Today, we saw something special. All three goals are special in their own right. The first one was a proper vintage strike. The second one was great movement, proper number nine goal. And the third one was just a towering, unstoppable Cristiano Ronaldo header. 37 years old, as I said. 807 goals and a hat-trick. De magnifique. Viva Ronaldo indeed. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. I've got a big smile on my face. It's Saturday night. It's my birthday tomorrow. So make sure you drop a like on the video, please. But Ronaldo, <laughs> thank you very much, Cristiano for doing that so I can go and enjoy myself tonight. You let me know what you think in the comments below, everybody. Make sure you drop a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. But Cristiano Ronaldo, Viva Ronaldo, let's do the same thing against Atletico Madrid on Tuesday, baby. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs>